out of town. So what's up? No kidding. Really? You called a family meeting? Must be something important. I remember only three other family meetings you've called. One was when I moved to Minneapolis, uh, when I got married, and when Martin and Lewis split up. <laughs> sure, sure, I'll tell Brenda, yeah. But, Ma wait a minute, Do don't hang up. No, no, you can't leave me here not knowing what the meeting's about. I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow night. Ma, no, no, you don't. You have no place to run. Because where would you be running at 8 o'clock in the evening? Ma, there's no such thing as an emergency mahjong game. <laughs> trouble you go to. I mean, why lug your accordion all the way here when I can just put on some records or something? Well, I thought it would turn you on. Vince? 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 Vince, I was hoping uh, tonight we wouldn't get into that area of conflict we've been getting into well, lately. I don't know. Maybe you're not feeling what I'm feeling. I'm dying from what you're doing to me. Vince, maybe we shouldn't talk about it so much. I mean, maybe it should be more, you know, spontaneous. Right. From now on, it'll be spontaneous. Vince, don't unbuckle your accordion. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, I, I, I won't go all the way. I won't unbuckle it. I'll, I'll just unstrap it. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow night. For sure. If it's spontaneous. It will be. Amanda? <laughs> yeah? Uh, are you busy? Uh, no, we were just about to call it a wrap. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back later, Brenda. No, no, it's okay, Ro. Come on in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, listen, I, I don't mean to interrupt and uh, busting in on you and uh, Vince. Hey, don't worry about it. If anything was really going on, we wouldn't have heard the knock, huh? Mm -hmm. I've got a great little sister here. Yeah. Mm, you're pretty foxy yourself. Thanks. Shows how long I've been around, from doggy to foxy. <laughs> Tomorrow night, baby. It's gonna be an important night for us. We're gonna be spontaneous. <laughs> the earth will move. The sky will open. And I'll bring some ribs. <laughs> Gee, uh, Bren, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I really am. I mean, I would never have come down, but your phone's been busy for over oh. an hour. No, Ro, it's okay, really. Your timing was great. Really? Yeah. yeah. You see, there's this decision that Vince wants me to make up my mind about. Oh, that decision. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wants to be more intimate. Mm -hmm. I keep telling him I have to know a guy for a while. I mean, I just can't see him a couple of times. I have to have a relationship. That's true. Yeah. And I told him there are a certain number of dates you should have before you even consider doing intimate. <laughs> All right, how many dates did you tell him? Fourteen. <laughs> good, that's good, yeah. And what did he say? Well, that was two weeks ago, and he's been up here every night since. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do. Brenda, before you make any decision at all, I gotta ask you one question. Do you really really like Vince. Don't you? Uh, well, that's not an issue here. You like this guy? <laughs> you don't like him? Brenda, I just want to make sure that you like him. That's all. My opinion of a guy who brings an accordion on a date is unimportant. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, it's kind 
kind of hard to say no to a guy like Vince. He's so magnetic. Miss Vince? <laughs> it was just he. Yeah. Magnetic. Yeah. Mm. I mean, how often does a guy like Vince Mazuma come along? Every three seconds. <laughs> Okay, I just have to figure out what to do by tomorrow night. I'm gonna sing. Wait, Brenda, you can't. Why? Ma called. There is a family meeting scheduled for tomorrow night. Oh, a family meeting, huh? Oh, she probably couldn't get me. My phone's been off the hook. Well, I gotta call her because uh, I can't go. Direct dialing. <laughs> Hello, Ma? Yeah, listen, I was going to call you. Uh, can you switch the meeting tomorrow night? Because I can't make it. Because I have a very important date. Ma, the issue is not whether some guy means more than the person who suffered through nine months of morning sickness for me. No, Ma, I am not coming to the meeting. No, I am not. I'm not, Ma. I'm not. Goodbye. I'll pick you up on my way over. Right. <laughs> Okay, okay, the family meeting is now called to order. Now, Ma, what is it? Well, <clears throat> let's just say hello first. And let's try to be calm because in a few minutes there may be a lot of hysteria and this may be our last chance to be calm. <laughs> hello, Rhoda. Ma, what's going on? Well, Rhoda, I see you have blown your last chance of being calm by becoming hysterical too early. Where's Pop? Is this something about Pop? It's Pop. Is it? No, That's no, no, it's that not, it's not your him? father. He isn't here because I didn't want him to know anything about this. Now, the two of you will sit down. I will try and figure out a way to explain this to the both of you. Oh, my God. <gasps> What's wrong? <going on? laughs> I've decided I don't want you two to know about it either. <laughs> Ma, you made me rearrange my whole life to hear about this thing. Now you're not even going to tell us what it is? Well, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to go through this. So long, Ma. Whatever it is, it can't be so important to go through this kind of aggravation. Yes, it can. Made it, Rhoda. I know. Why'd you come back? I don't know, Brenda. I guess the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's my health. What? Mom, what are you what saying? Your health. Have you been to a doctor? No, I don't want to hear what they have to tell me because um, I'm afraid there's something really wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I better call my date. He was going to pick me up here, but now I got a call to stop That's him. That's good. Go Cancel. No, don't cancel a date. Don't ever cancel a date. Oh, because tonight's the night. <laughs> well, I do not know what you're talking about. No, good night. <laughs> okay. 